Let's take our to-do list to the next level using the Kanban board. The Kanban board is great to be able to move things around visually and change the underlying status and Notion supports this for any database view. Let's dig in. Let's first create a page to keep all of this. We'll of course link to the same to-do item database, the tasks database that we have looked at before. Today we'll use the board view, which is a Kanban style board, and we'll use the completed checkbox column for grouping. So let's see how that looks. So now we have the two columns. We'll start with the unchecked ones, then we have the completed ones to the left. And by dragging across these, we actually change the status. That's great. Going into the database, we also see that Notion itself created the status function. It's not very functional, it doesn't have any state, so we'll remove that and create a new one. Using Notion's built-in status column, we actually get a few default states. We have not started, we have the in progress, and we have the done statuses. And we can change these whenever we want, but we'll keep them for now. We'll go into the settings for the Kanban board again. We'll look at grouping and we'll reset that to status so it makes a little bit more sense. Now we have the three columns, not started, in progress and done. We can drag and drop things between them, also changing the status as we go. If we go into the settings, we can show the completed checkbox again. But looking at this, you quickly realize that they are kind of working against each other. So we have a status column, which has one kind of status, and then we have a completed column, which has another kind of status, and they don't really sync up. So while the status column and the Kanban board is really powerful when we're looking to do project things. I would argue that when we use a to-do list, there are better ways of visualizing things and the status column is something we can leave for later when we go into projects. With that, I'll thank everyone for joining today and hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget to comment what you want to see going forward and of course subscribe. Have a nice day!